the United States will remain a strong, proud, and loyal friend and ally. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please. Uh, probably it's my turn. Yes, uh, whatever you like. It looks so. Ladies first. <laughs> uh, so, of course, we're very thankful for the possibility to be here, especially not only because of our anniversary in our region, but uh, because of alliance uh, which we are affirming today with the United States by uh, adopting the declaration where we say that Article 5 uh, is ironic ironclad uh, for all of us and uh, the collective defense issues are important to all of us and we understand how important NATO is for all of us and why we during our discussions talked so much about uh, the reforming further reforming NATO, uh, the investments into our defense, the amounts of uh, necess necessary to invest into our defense, and of course, together, uh, where it is necessary, all of us, and Lithuania is with the United States, on fighting the terrorists through all the world. We back in Afghanistan, we in Mali, we in Central African Republic, we in Kosovo, we, we in Ukraine together. So we are partners, allies, and trustful allies. And uh, because of that, we are sure that the reforms of NATO, which we are investing together and preparing together, uh, will be resultative, as it was before, but especially now, because we're seeing uh, United States leadership, we're seeing the willingness of United States to see different NATO, different quality of NATO, and I can be probably open, we talked with the President, I was joke a little bit, joking about that we need leadership sometimes, for decision-making, even unpredictable leadership, to make enough leverage and pressure for the rivals to believe that we can make a decision. And that's, we seeing this kind of leadership in President Trump. And this is good because uh, without the leverage and pressure, there will be no additional spendings uh, in our defense, in NATO. There will be no additional uh, decisions for rotating uh, military forces uh, of United States in our countries. There will be uh, no uh, willingness to look into the matter of air defense, which we need very much. So from all these uh, point of views, uh, we trust that our partner, an ally uh, is uh, investing seriously in the future of our defense, not only our regions, but the NATO's territory defense and in the peace and security of the world as it was before. Of course, uh, the businesses are coming together, ally in military cooperation in goes with economic cooperation, and I am very happy that today in our business forum uh, we will sign two agreements with two American companies on the, on the liquid gas cooperation. Lithuania has liquid uh, gas uh, station uh, and factory, uh, so-called uh, uh, floating boat, uh, uh, but uh, we can uh, be independent, all three Baltic states, uh, on the gas supply because of that, and this gives us strength and uh, uh, possibility to make our own decisions, uh, not to depend on one supplier, and American liquid gas will come on time uh, and will uh, make us uh, more independent in our decision making and diversifies our uh, gas supply. And this is about a real friendship, about a real uh, cooperation between our region and United States. And this comes also together with the uh, trade matters where today we see some discussions on the world uh, level between uh, United States and European Union. We are uh, together with the decisions that the trade needs to be uh, useful and equally fair to all sides. There is no sense to go to the war, but decisions, if there is disbalances, need to be found, and this uh, we will support uh, as uh, ally of United States. So, together with international obligations uh, in military, together with the uh, cooperation in economy, together with the, uh, with the United States and European Union in solving the uh, trade disputes and issues, we are standing with and together, and we hope that, as President said, next hunger years will be even better, closer, together, and we will be able to achieve and make more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please. Your Excellency President Trump, uh, my esteemed uh, Baltic colleagues, uh, dear friends, uh, the Baltic U.S. President's summits uh, reaffirmed our shared uh, 
commitment to fundamental values, our long-lasting friendship and the steadfast partnership that we have enjoyed for nearly a century. The United States of America is our closest friend and ally. I appreciate that we have each other's mutual support in our endeavors as well as uh, in the security challenges we are facing. Today, we reflected uh, on our many achievements and set a course for our future uh, undertakings. We have agreed to enhance our defense and security cooperation. The Baltic states appreciate the United States commitment to deterrence policy in the Baltic region and the military assistance provided to our forces. Uh, we will continue to commit 2% uh, of GDP towards uh, the development of our military capabilities for the purposes of wars strengthening NATO's posture in the eastern flank and uh, contributing to international uh, security. Uh, the Baltic states and the United States uh, acknowledged uh, the need to continue the successful existing cooperation we have in countering modern day security threats such as terrorism, uh, cyber and uh, informational warfare and nuclear proliferation. Today, all of us uh, committed to placing greater emphasis on advancing our economic and trade and investment relationship. We recognize great potential in areas of innovation, modern technologies and the digital economy. Uh, and we will explore possibilities for forging new partnerships uh, to this end. Uh, I am particularly proud of successes of Latvian companies that have generated uh, more than 2,000 jobs in the US, in Georgia, in North Carolina, in uh, California. It's, uh, it just shows how important is this economic cooper cooperation. And uh, finally, the Baltic States and uh, the United States uh, agreed to continue promoting closer people-to-people -people, uh, contacts uh, because uh, these contacts are very important for every member of our society. Uh, and uh, let me uh, stress uh, that President Trump uh, was an outstanding host today. Thanks for hosting us uh, in this, for us in this very important uh, event uh, when we celebrate 100 years anniversary of our statehood. Thanks. Thank you. President Trump, my dear neighbors, dear journalists, I would like to thank President Trump and his administration for his political leadership in our region and for the very visible commitment which has been demonstrated through a number of high-level visits also to our region. This year we do celebrate indeed our centennial anniversary. Of these 100 years, for 50, we were occupied by the Soviet Union and people in our country got up every morning knowing that there are democratic countries led by United States who have never recognized the occupation of the Baltic states. Our national flag, the blue, black and white, was waving here in America throughout these years. It couldn't have been done at that time in Estonia. It was heartwarming. It was true sign of friendship. We knew it back then and we remember it and we are still grateful for it. We'll be forever. Today we agreed a declaration also reminding us about the foundations of our relations. My friends here spoke a lot about what do we do. It's always worth to remind why we do this. We believe that peace, security and prosperity depend on strong sovereign nations that respect their citizens at home and cooperate to promote peace abroad. Our partnership 
is based on principles of democracy and individual liberty and the rule of law. These things are extremely important. Today, we stand together, like-minded partners and allies. Yes, Baltic states are quite small, but they are important because of their location. But not only because of what we do as contributing partners to the global security. We find it very important to contribute in the counter-terrorism fight. We find it important since 2011 to spend 2% of our GDP on defence. We find it extremely important to remember that we stand together and we form something which we call in my office an axis of good. This is an axis of good made visible for you all. Yes, Estonia and the United States are very different by the size of their economy. But when we are speaking about digital economies, then this doesn't matter anymore. Estonia is a, one of the world leading nations of digital governance. And our companies are working with companies in your country to make sure that people elsewhere could benefit. This cannot come without cybersecurity. There is a NATO Center of Excellence on Cybersecurity in Estonia because we have been attacked on cyber long before anybody else. We still work together, we contribute, and we hope that we are really helpful to all of our partners. Yes, we have also more conventional trade, which we do together. People in Walmart going for their pre-ordered packages in a couple of years will see them delivered by Estonian-made package delivery robots. We are proud of this, and we are also proud of our legal environment in Estonia, which invites business to try and test new ideas in our place, which is tiny, and then upscale when it makes more sense to upscale. This way, we work together both on defense matters, economic matters, and always stand on our common value base. This is the foundation of our relations. Thank you for today for making this visible, this axis of good. Thank you very much.